We're going to be walking 13 miles around Idaho Falls in remembrance of the 13 uh, fallen troops that we had. Tayden Towers and Nick James from Idaho Falls plan to honor the U.S. troops that were killed in the Kabul airport attack last week. We figured that um, the least the least we could do is show a little respect for those who, who, who lost their lives and show the rest that we care about them. Both Tayden and Nick are 18 years old and come from families with military backgrounds. My dad was in the Army, my grandfather was in the Navy. Um, it just keeps going back and back. I plan on uh, continuing that legacy. They both plan to enlist. I had actually planned on enlisting uh, in March ne of next year and then now I'm gonna do January because of, of the situation going, around, going on around here. It's just it's pressing and I feel like, you know, I, I feel like I need to get out there as soon as possible. Watching the news and seeing what happened in Afghanistan doesn't deter them at all. It actually kind of motivates me a little bit to be better and to strive for excellence. And honestly, with what's been going on in the world, I might just enlist sooner than I was actually inspecting. The troops who passed range in age from 20 to 31 and came from California, Massachusetts, and states in between, like 20-year-old Lance Corporal Riley McCollum from Jackson, Wyoming. He enlisted on his 18th birthday. I guess it just hits home a little more differently because these they were just kids, really. They weren't, I mean, they had families, they had wives, they had husbands, they had futures. It's important to remember people like that, the legacy they carried on, the sacrifices they made for our freedom. Tayden says to honor the troops, he'll be carrying our nation's flag for the 13 mile walk starting at 10 a.m. I'd like to see as many people there as possible. Tayden and Nick say that anyone is welcome to join them on this 13 mile walk on Sunday here at the Japanese Friendship Garden. You are also encouraged to bring American flags with you. Now they are still trying to figure out what that route is going to look like. We'll have more information posted on our website. Reporting in Idaho Falls, Andrea Olson, EastIdahoNews.com.